I just got my wonderful Orion 200i welder this week and have been having a ton of fun with it. Something I've been making a lot of are post earrings, which this tool just makes so easy um, to do. What I'm going to show you is a couple different um, earrings I've been welding. The first one is just a simple earring post with a tiny pad on it, which makes it a lot easier to weld than just having a straight post. And then just a flat um, part that I'm going to put it on. So I put my post in the little alligator clip and I do have a sharp electrode. And once I get these positioned, I'm going to put the electrode right where the metals join and at about a 45 degree angle to get the best weld. So I'm going to get it nice and centered on here where I want it. Get it a little closer so I have to move. Oops. And there's my first weld. And as long as I'm in the right spot, I'm just gonna go around and finish. Not quite centered, but close enough. And there it is. Nice and sturdy and so much easier than soldering to me anyway. I, I like this um, just so much easier. And another thing I've been doing with these earring posts, um, I like to do little tiny earrings and they are really hard to, it's just hard to get centered on something this little. So what I've done is I have a fusion earring post. So it's got a little tiny piece of metal that sticks out of the bottom. And I put a tiny indentation in the center of the back of the earring. And I'm just gonna fit that in here and that just helps me get it centered really easily. And just the same technique applies. You can get it in the right spot. Put your earring in the hole there and still the 45 degree angle. And then go around. Do your welds. Whoops. Does get a little hot sometimes. And my gas is set at about 7 PSI, my argon. And that's it. Nice, sturdy little earring backs. Hit me up if you have any questions.